What's up? Just keep it simple. Well, welcome to my kitchen again. And I definitely want to make sure I capture this at a great angle so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So, today we're going to be covering breakfast food. And the menu, what we have today, and we have some grits bowl in here, oatmeal, we have some turkey bacon, eggs, we have orange juice, blackberries, and I have some pork bacon in the oven. So while our food is cooking, I just want to talk to you a little bit about a few things, just the preparation part that I took to get to this point. Now, with my any of my meats, I recommend that you clean. I've cleaned my meats here. So basically, I just saturated the, uh, the bacon here in some vinegar and water, right? So I use my vinegar here just to clean it a little bit, and I, I'll tell you why I did that. And then I have a serpent container for my turkey bacon. I don't want to mix the two. Again, vinegar and water just to kind of clean it a little bit. Now, as our food is cooking here, where my eggs are cooking, let me put a little bit of pepper, some grounded pepper, some of that on there. So basically what I did was I based my pan here with my eggs and turkey bacon here. I based it with some olive oil spray here, okay? And now my grits is boiling here, so I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil in it for you. Voila, just a little bit. Just going to stir that up. Yeah, that looks real good. All right. Now, while our food is cooking, I want to talk to you about the nutrition label. That is so key. Oh, my coffee as well, and it's black with nothing in it. Now, let's talk about the nutrition um, label. A lot of people don't understand the nutrition label. Now, once you understand the nutrition label, you will be well on your way to choosing healthier foods. Okay, so I want to go through that a little bit while our food is cooking here. Actually, let me turn my turkey bacon here. All right, eggs are looking good. I like mine over medium hard. All right, so they can cook a little longer. All right, the nutrition label. The nutrition label tells you everything that's in this food. It's going to tell you how much calories, the grams of fat that's in your your package here. So let's start at the top here. The first thing the nutrition label is going to tell you is the serving size. Okay? Now for this pack of pork bacon here, it's telling me that two slices of bacon is the serving size. Okay? Now, once we look further down onto the label here, on the right hand side, it tells you the amount or what's the ingredient and it's broken into five categories. That's fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, and protein. All right. Now, to the far right, it gives you the percent value. Well, what does that mean? That percent value tells you how much, how much, or the percentage of the calories that you're consuming from that particular category. All right. Let me flip my eggs here. All right. That looks good. Alright, let's get back to the label here. So, this pack of bacon tells me that there, for every two slices, that's 190 calories. Alright? Now, let's look at it even further. How much fat is in the bacon? It has a total of 18 grams of fat. And of that, 27% is contributed to towards the 190 calories. All right. Now let's look at it even further because it breaks it down and tells you what types of fat. All right. So of the 18 grams of fat that's in this bacon, 7 grams of it is saturated fat. 0 0.1 gram of it is trans fat. Both of those are bad fats. All right. So 34% of saturated and trans fat is contributed towards that 190 calories. Okay? So I'm going to pause there for the calls and I'm going to turn the stove off and put my eggs on a plate here. Alright. Eggs are 
eggs are ready. All right. Fat. There's good fat and there's bad fat. All right. So your bad fat, obviously, is the saturated fat and trans fat. Now, saturated fat basically um, it comes from animals. It's in meat and dairy products. Okay. Trans fat. It is a natural trans fat. Okay, and that's be it comes from the gut of some animals. Okay, then you have artificial trans fat. Well, artificial simply just means that it goes through some type of chemical process. All right, so bad fat equals saturated and trans fat, and they increase your cholesterol levels. Okay, so you're at risk of a stroke and or a heart attack. Okay, bad fat. It's not a positive impact on your health. It's not. Good fat, though, are your poly and mono unsaturated fats. The key word is unsaturated. Okay. Poly and mono unsaturated fats, basically, they're like in a, a liquid form at room temperature. All right. And basically, they help to decrease or reduce your cholesterol. All right. It is vitamin E enriched. And, and it also contains your essential fatty acids like omega-3 and omega-6. I know you guys have heard of those, okay? What are some examples of the good fat? Olive oil. That's why I cook in it. All Everything that I cook, I cook in olive oil. And I'm encouraging you to do so. Olive oil. You, it, it's in beans. It's also in nuts, soybeans, avocados. Okay, so those are some examples of some foods that have um, the poly and the money on saturated fats. They're good for you. Okay. All right, so back to the nutrition label. So we covered the total fat, 18 grams of this bacon. Now, let's move down to cholesterol. We all know what cholesterol is, so we have to monitor that, okay? So this bacon has 30 milligrams of cholesterol, all right? That's a, it's a low number but I would want it lower, okay? Um, sodium, we all know what sodium is. This bacon has 240 milligrams of sodium, which 10% of it is contributed to your 190 calories, okay? Carbohydrates, two grams, and it breaks it down even further to fiber and sugar, okay? Those are examples of carbohydrates, okay? Ingredients, all right? So the sugar and the fiber is zero grams, then you have six grams of protein. So I'm focusing on those top three, the fat, the cholesterol, and the sodium. Very key. Those are the three that you want to limit, okay? The numbers need to be low. Now, the American Heart Association recommends for saturated fat, on based on a 2,000 calorie diet, they recommend that you consume five to six percent um, of saturated fat. Okay, so I'm going to provide you guys with a link to the uh, Amer American Heart Association so you can take a closer look at that information. All right, so I want to compare the nutrition label from the pork bacon to the turkey bacon. All right, so based on this, the serving size for this turkey bacon is one slice, and it for one slice, it equals 30 calories. So that's the serving size for the turkey bacon. One slice of turkey bacon equals 30 calories. Okay? Fat, it has one gram of fat. And only 2% of it is contributed to the 30 calories. Okay? Saturated fat, only 0 0.3 grams. Okay? I hope you guys are receiving this information and you may have to watch it again to understand it. Cholesterol, 15 milligrams of uh, cholesterol. It has 240 milligrams of sodium. It has no carbohydrates, no fiber, no sugar, but it has 5 grams of protein. And at the bottom of the nutrition label, it also contains um, information like vitamins and iron and calcium that's also in this product. So there you have it, the difference um, between the turkey bacon and the pork based upon the nutrition label and I'll provide you some information about uh, understanding nutrition label as well. Okay, now, 
I want to show you why I cleaned the meat. Remember, it said that the turkey bacon and the pork bacon had 240 milligrams of sodium? Well, before I cook any of my food, again, I clean it with vinegar and water. So I cleaned my pork bacon here, put it on the uh, paper towel, kind of dry it out. Now you can test this, right? Just from the paper towel, I'm tasting it here. Salty, okay? Now let me rinse my hands off here. I don't want to cross contaminate. Now for my turkey bacon, same thing. I'm going to dry that off, okay? And I'm not as salty. So you see, by cleaning your food prior to cooking it, you can actually rinse all up half of the sodium. Okay? So definitely clean your meats and so forth prior to cooking. So, I want to lay out my spread here, what I have prepared, if you don't mind. So we have eggs and turkey bacon here, with a little bit of grits. Okay? Alright, we got that dish. Then we have oatmeal. And you can have that alone, and you can either add some um, berries to it, like I have some blackberries here, I can add the blackberries to my oatmeal there. And there's nothing in my oatmeal, a lot of people put like uh, brown sugar and other fruits and nuts, you can do that. Um, but you see that portion size? That's about a fourth cup of um, oatmeal. All right. Now let me pull the turkey bacon out of the oven here. There's your tur your pork bacon here. All right, let me just sit that there. And then raisin toast. I'm going to show you guys how I cook raisin toast. I cook it a little different. I, I toast, period. I don't like the toaster, so basically I just baste this pan with olive oil. See that? And I'm just going to put my raisin bread right in there. It's going to cook up, and basically, once it cooks up, I flip it there, put it on my plate there, and this right here itself, along with some grits, could be a meal, and with a slice of bacon. So, you see the portion size there? This is a typical breakfast here. And these are some of the examples that are on the meal plan as well. So I'm going to have some orange juice with it. Pour it up there. And basically what I'm going to do from this point, I'm just going to dilute it with some water. And there we have it. So I hope that information was helpful. Again, I'll provide you some more information about uh, the uh, nutrition label. Um, talk about good fat and bad fat. Now if you have any questions about um, what I discussed here, whether it's about um, how to prepare it, um, what oils and seasonings to use, please feel free to inbox me or post it on the group uh, page. Alright, well that concludes the breakfast part here. So tomorrow, um, post your questions and uh, we'll move forward. Alright, and remember, consistent healthy eating plus exercise equals your life. So just keep it simple.